if you're not following me on Instagram, please do follow because we are uploading many behind the scene pictures and videos there. Hit that subscribe button and bell icon so you never miss an update from Neela Bakore Tutorials. In this video, we'll talk about the three main levels of diversity. The first is called genetic diversity. And when we say genetic diversity, that means in a species, there is variation at the gene level. Variations at genetic level. To understand this, we'll take a couple of examples. The first is that there are about 1000 varieties of mangoes. There are about 50,000 varieties of rice. Now, when we say a variety or varieties of mango and varieties of rice, the scientific name remains the same. That means the species is the same, but there are different varieties. And what exactly is different between these two varieties is their genetic makeup. We will take one more example. And this is a medicinal plant which is found in Himalayan region. Rovolfia vomitoria. Now this is a medicinal plant which is found in Himalayan regions. And only this plant, when we talk of, uh, there are various varieties in this Himalayan region only. So in this region, at different levels, we find different variety of the same plant. And how do we know that they are different from each other? Because they differ in... the potency level of a chemical found in them. This chemical which is there is capable of doing certain things. So it has its potency, it has its capacity to do work and different uh, species, uh, different varieties which are found at different levels in this Himalayan region, they have different levels of potency of the chemical. Now this chemical which is present is known as reserpine. It is an alkaloid. obtained from the root bark of this plant. So this reserpine, its uh, power varies in different varieties. Just to understand this, say some variety of the same plant which is found at the bottom part, bottom region of this Himalayan part probably has less potency, less power, this chemical, same chemical. And as you go higher uh, on the Himalayan region, the varieties which are found there probably have the same reserpine with a higher potency, with a higher power. So these varieties which exist there, they have different levels of potency of that same particular chemical. So the name of the plant is the same, the chemical which is obtained is the same. Only difference is one plant is producing the same chemical which is less powerful and the other plant of the same type is producing or variety producing a 
same chemical with a different power of that same racemine. We have written that it is a medicinal plant. So where is this racemine used? It is used in treatment of blood pressure or hypertension, what we call it, higher blood pressure, hypertension. It is used in the treatment of hypertension, cholera and even to treat snake bite. So this is the medicinal value of this particular chemical. Same type of plant, same genus but now a different species. There also we have the same type of uh, diversity. In Africa, there is another plant of the same genus but a different species. It is called Rovolfia serpentina. It is found in Africa. So, this particular species must also be having different varieties. And in various regions of Africa, one variety would have the higher uh, power containing chemical or showing chemical and the other variety may have the same chemical with a little different power. That means there is a genetic variation or genetic diversity in the members of the same species. So when we talk of mango, mangifera indica, all different varieties of mangoes, the scientific name remains the same, the species is the same, but these are the varieties which we have in India. So, Mangifera indica, varieties are different. So, in the same species, there are some genetic variations which make a different variety. So, when we study this type of diversity, we call it alpha diversity. Genetic is also known as alpha diversity. The second is called species diversity, which is also known as beta diversity. Now here we are talking about number of species in a particular region. Number of species in a particular region. We, we will take an example here. Number of amphibians is number, here we mean the species, right? Not the number like. Species of amphibians in Western Ghat is much higher as compared to species of same amphibians in Eastern Ghat. So here we have taken two different areas and we are comparing these two areas on the basis of number of species. So we would say in Western Ghat, there is more species diversity as compared to Eastern Ghat. So here we are comparing on the basis of number of species in a particular area. Here we were talking about number of genetic variations in a particular species. Here number of species in a particular area. And the third is known as ecological diversity or it is also called gamma diversity. In this we will compare even bigger area. Say we take two countries, India and Norway. India has variety of landscapes or variety of ecosystems, desert, aquatic, man-made aquatic, ocean, forest, uh, rainforest, evergreen forest, deciduous forest, 
So the variety, grasslands, all these different types of ecosystems are in India. But in Norway, which is a Scandinavian country, most common uh, ecosystem which we find there is a grassland. So if you compare the number of species in India and Norway, if we are comparing this, we find that the diversity in India is much more. So India is richer in diversity as compared to Norway. And this is because of variety of ecosystems. So any larger area, any country which would have variety of ecosystems, the chances are that there various kinds of species would be found. Say for example, if we are talking about the same two example, in India we would have desert animals, desert plants, we would have aquatic freshwater plants, freshwater animals, we would have uh, animals in ocean, plants in ocean, we would also have animals living in deciduous forests, rainforests, Similarly, plants which grow in different types of forests, they are also different. That means these are all varieties that we are talking about, all different species that we are talking about. So, more number of ecosystems, the chances are that the diversity is more. So, ecological means we are comparing it at a bigger level. So, whenever we talk about this diversity and at different levels where we can study it, as we talked about in the previous video that we can study it from macromolecule to biome but to sum it up there are three main levels at which we talk about this diversity gene level species level and then the ecosystem level so in gene level there are examples which we have to remember these numbers are important how many varieties of rice and mango are there in india plus the example that is rawolfia vomitoria and this is one more serpentina which is in africa here in one species there is variation in the genetic makeup so slight gene variation in species diversity in a particular region, number of species, this is what we are comparing. And here we have gone to a bigger area, the ecological. So if there are more number of ecosystems, obviously the diversity is going to be more or richer. So India and Norway are two countries which we can compare. Now in the next part, we will take up the percentage or number of various types of organisms.